I found boffer flames that you can throw. I was on my way back from the Southern California Renaissance Pleasure Fair, and yes, there will be videos around that. And to pass the 17 hour drive back to Portland, I was scrolling through the internet and saw an advertisement for the Kalamazoo LARP flame. It's like this magic boffer flame that you can basically use instead of a spell packet. And here they are. They're squishy and they're really cute. I admit, I, I thought they might be a little bigger, but they're still really cute. And then I thought, what if I gathered some friends and we really put these to the test? Meet Adam, John, James, Faye, and Justin. All of them have either made LARP weapons, run their own LARP games, been part of a safety team, you know, safety checks for LARP weapons, made props. We're gonna get their initial reactions. Do they think they're safe for LARP? How well do these things fly? Can you feel them through armor, like leather or steel armor? How do they feel when they hit your bare skin? Are they a good price? And basically any other thoughts they may have. We go. Should I not look? Should I look later? Should I? Oh, oh god! Oh my god! They are cool. Oh my god! And they're even like spell packets, and yes. a little bit more balanced than a spell okay. packet, actually. Are these little seedlings or are those little fireballs? These little they're, swirly things. Huh? They're they're a flame. Okay. That comes so big. Oh, or interesting. Instead of like lard packets, when you to cast spells, they can be these. Hmm. Okay, I can see that. I think I'd want them a little bigger, but they are nice. Uh. Uh, they're not bad. Did you get a baby elemental? <laughs> no, these are these are boffer flames by Kalamazoo. Oh, okay. They're, they're okay. tiny. Well, start like what I like the idea about it mm -hmm. is you know we've got all these really nice you know, sword props and stuff like that now. But then if you're like listen for like spellcaster or something like we didn't really have anything uh, until so like you know. You got these nice sword props, and then you got these people throwing bags full of you know, bird seed and stuff. But like actually having something, like kind of like immediately like raises the mm -hmm. production value of everything. So they're pretty. Um, I like the sculpt on them, and I mean, this is really nice detail here. But first, the proper attire. Okay, that's fair. We go. I hit it! Alright! Alright, let's see if I can do that again. I missed it! But that's okay! <laughs> Take a Alright, yep. That was my butt! Yeah. Oh, woo! Oh, we told ourselves we weren't gonna bring the green one down here. Way that they're shaped, I like that they look like flames, but the fact that they're uh, they have a teardrop shape, but they are not aerodynamic, means that the pointed side might still hit first. A lot of these that were that you threw at me were hitting side instead of dead on, so it is spinning like this when they're being thrown. So that mm -hmm. could be an issue. Yes. Nope. It's okay. I have no. Felt it. So point blank. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Go for it. Eh. That was really hard. That was a hard throw, by the way. I'm going to do a soft throw. I'm, I'm going to note that the hard throw, when it did hit my hand, there is a sting. It's still lingering. 
Um, I'm pretty used to getting hit with stuff because I usually NPC a lot. So it doesn't bother me, but it might bother some of you out there who are um, a little bit more sensory sensitive. Can you do me a favor? Can you throw this again, but throw it a bit harder? Yes. smacky. Uh, I think uh, people who tend to throw harder in mm. a LARP, especially with adrenaline going, they might throw it hard enough that it could uh, smack some skin in and up to give it a sting uh, that could upset some people. Okay, yeah. Right. And it's almost, it, it's actually a lot looser back there. So I didn't actually really feel that, but it still had enough to or the, I've, I've accidentally sloughed sword shots on this too, so. Okay. Yeah, no, that guy. Vengeance! Oh no, it's mine! Uh, do you want full force first, or? Bring it! Okay, okay, this is... I also have a high pain tolerance, so I'll try to gauge it. Here we go, there, you go. there we go. Yep. That, someone might not like that. Yeah, that was a little bit harder. You can see the little stripies from the indentations of the flame. Yeah, I think if, I, if I were them, I'd probably make it a little bit more bulbous in the front. Yeah, what do you think about the pointy bit? The pointy bit in the back, I think that is okay. It would be okay. It would be okay <laughs> if it were weighted. Okay. So, so you know what I mean? Because like right now, if you throw it, this thing can spin and there's no real control on it. So the pointy end would get into an eye. Yeah. Uh, it's very, very likely. There would be LARPs that would say no to these, uh, and it would be due to, it, again, it's that stinging sensation. Uh, typically, uh, safety teams for LARPs are going to default to uh, the most sensitive of their LARPers. If there are going to be LARPers that would complain from getting a sharp smack on their skin, they're gonna go ahead and default towards, let's make sure that doesn't happen, then we don't have any issues that are gonna break game, having to call a hold, talk to people, make sure that everyone's okay. Gonna be a lot better to just uh, make sure that anything that gets used in the LARP is uh, going to be safe and comfortable for all, all parties involved. Would you, would this pass your game? Because you run a game. Yes. Yeah, so this yeah. would pass. And... This would pass. Okay, awesome. Yeah, with, with like, you know, the same advice, but like no yeah. more advice than I would give someone who's like, you know, like swing foam with somebody. Yeah. Uh, that kind of thing. So, yeah. No, avoid this... the headshots. Yeah, avoid the headshots. Whether or not your pocketbook's going to basically go out. I really hope they cost like maybe like five or six or something very similar. I forgot what the conversion is. Uh, it's 16 Canadian. Usually they're around $2, $2-ish $2 more, basically. Yeah. So it's about 14 US, I would guess, per little, I think. That's a bit steep for something that you can't be guaranteed will get approved. Um, if you had, if you had access to them, if you had a friend that already bought them and you could get it approved through your LARP and you know that they're going to get approved ahead of time, then maybe. Uh, but uh, that's a bit expensive for taking a gamble on a problem. I think I'd end up sticking with actually the flower seeds. Cost per unit, yeah. just going from that. Um, and we're not counting shipping here, we're not counting all of that fun stuff. Um, the bird seed or the flower seeds and the cloth might be an initial higher investment, but you get more of a return. And again, would feel so much less bad about losing those than this. I like how it's three different colors, right? Because uh, and and they can either be like flame, or they can even be like just like mana being thrown at someone too. Because you get your like nature a mana, right? You have your fire mana. You have whatever the hell purple <laughs> is. You know what you can also do? You can drill a hole in here on the back, right? Uh -huh. And attach the streamers to it. Oh. And then that would stabilize it and prevent the pointy end from getting to somebody's eye. See, this is the right thing to do. As expensive as they are, I can think of uh, one really good use for these uh, because of the price would actually be for LARPs that have, in addition to regular spellcasting, maybe uh, 
abilities that are only usable a certain number of times uh, per scene, combat, day, whatever. And you could purchase exactly the number of these that you need for the scene that you're doing or, or for your uh, the limit on your abilities. So you have red ones for one ability, purple ones for another ability, uh, green ones for another ability. And you know for a fact that uh, you can use that ability exactly the number of times as you have these little flanks. It could also be good for just a prop, like, mm -hmm. hey, you have to find this elemental thingy in the woods. Go get it. Bring it back to me. It also looks like, you know, you could, with a little bit of, like, ingenuity, you could actually, like, paint these up and, like, make them whatever color you want. Yeah, they like. seem to be that, they look sealed enough that you could still paint them. I mean, but it's a beautiful paint job. These are really Yeah, really you don't, cute. you don't even need to. I mean, like, I can see this, yeah. like, fitting in with just about anything. So what did we learn? The pros and the cons. They're pretty, they're small and easy to lose, especially the green one, but they're good size for pouches. They would, for the most part, pass the safety test. They are a mixed bag on the aerodynamics. They can be felt by armor, both leather and steel. They're not so great for the bare skin. At $12 each US, not so much. Otherwise, they're an adorable super fun prop and I have no regrets buying them. I'm Mackenzie Jameson, and if you like what we do here on this channel and want to see more videos, hit that subscribe and the bell. And I have a Ko-fi and a Patreon account. Links down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Like nature mana, purple, and we chose wisely. Uh, like. <laughs>. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so it's what's really cool about these, right? Cuz like there's there's three different colors and they don't even have to necessarily It's the dragon. It's the, the dragon. Sound of the dragon <laughs> from from the nearby I mean